Wayne High School in Ontario Center. We are at the half with your score, Minders 23 and Wayne 20. Welcome to the Bill Cram Chevrolet Halftime Show. And uh, we've got a very special guest for you, a guy who I'm sure would rather be in the locker room right now getting ready to play the second half, but a big part of this wing program, Logan Blankenberg, who we've talked about here in this first half, Jim, who's out of the lineup tonight. But, uh, Logan, first of all, great to have you with us and uh, looking to get back on Friday, we yeah, hear, right? Yeah. You can expect to, to play on you. Friday? Oh, yeah, definitely. Outstanding. How are you feeling? Great. Should be playing tonight, but... <laughs> How frustrating is it from that standpoint then to, to not be out there on the court? It's definitely frustrating, just, you know, watching everybody else. I mean, you'd die to be out there with them. I mean, anything, it's like anything to be back out there, not now, just sitting here. With, with that said, it gives you a little bit of a different perspective here to watch for a few games. What do you see tonight in that first half from your view on the bench? Um, we need to attack the basket a little more, guard play, and somebody that can finish at the rim. I mean, Braden's playing really well, especially it's his, like, third game back or whatever. And some big shots. Good shooting by both teams. An outstanding shooting. Kind of weird. Jim brought it up before that you know, Braden's out for the whole year coming back from that foot injury. And right as he comes back, you go down. You guys, yeah. Have you guys talked about that? Like, come on, let's get on the same page, yeah, man. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it is kind of ironic. Uh, and as a guy who saw you guys make a great run in the postseason last year, and all we kept talking about all summer is, man, everybody's coming back, but we haven't mm. had a chance to see you guys all play <laughs> yeah, together, yeah, right? I know. But um, let's talk about sectionals. Mm -hmm. um, Leadership Academy, what do you know about that? I mean, they look really, really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, a lot of lot of running. I mean, put up a lot of points. Guys are like three really good players, I mean, that can knock down shots from all over the place at any time during the game. How many times have you seen them play? I, I haven't seen them live yet, really. Seen I mean, some I've, tape? Yeah, I've seen a little bit of tape. Yeah. Coach Thompson's got some. So what would you? how would you compare them to Wilson Magnet or even Arondacoit? Uh, they're more, they'll, I mean, not as strong, obviously, on the defense. They just want to play offense. Really? Offense, yeah. Yeah. Up and down game completely. Is there anybody else in A2 that uh, you're concerned about maybe that you might meet in the quarters or semis? Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at Monroe will be tough again. Yeah. I mean, they brought everybody back too except, well, I don't know, their best players went to a prep school or whatever. But Batavia actually got one of their best players back, uh, Tayshaun Ayella. He was out, got kicked off, and now he came back. But. He had nine threes in his first game back. So. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. It is. Um, so, Zanelovic hitting some jump shots. Billy hitting some jump mm -hmm. shots. Uh, when, when you guys can hit those, even Carmichael, one of his yeah. two free throws was uh, about a 16-foot jumper. Um, mm -hmm. It's nice to see him hitting some jump shots. Oh, yeah. That's usually your job, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, Got to yeah. pick up the slag, I guess. Yeah. So, you know, looking ahead to sectionals, it's it's always interesting to look at some of the matchups. But you guys want to take care of... Uh, Winning a Finger Lakes East title right. before that, obviously this game will go a long ways. What about looking at the, the schedule the rest of the way? You're still yeah. going to have uh, a couple tough games down the stretch, including at Penyan, the game where you got hurt uh, yeah. at home. Uh, you still got to go to Newark. I know they've been down a little yeah. bit. And then outside the conference, you got a Ronda Coit, who, of course, you played in the postseason last year. Yeah, we got Virtus tomorrow, yep. Midlakes Friday, and Ronda Coit is a big week for us this week. Ron Decoy, will, that'll obviously be a tough game. Well, yeah, I think it's tough. great that Coach Thompson scheduled them yeah. because that's mm -hmm. who you met in the Class A state playing game last mm -hmm. year. And uh, it, it actually it was a great game. You guys yeah. played them tough in Bloomfield. Um, so I think that's a great way to get ready for sectionals mm -hmm. to play a really good yeah. team like that. They have a D1 player on their oh, roster yeah. in drum goal. Maybe even th two or three yeah. at least. Maybe. Yeah. Real quick here in about uh, 20 seconds or so. Looking ahead to the second half, what what's the key going to be for your team if they're going to win this game? Uh, the zone, defense, baseline, getting beat in the baseline, and not also not allowing the high post because the high post yeah. is allowing to dictate where they want to go with the ball. All right. Well, so. we appreciate you stopping by. We look forward to seeing you back out of yeah, the court of course, uh, and making a run towards sectionals. Yeah, get healthy, well, thank you Logan. Very much. All right, Logan Blankenberg. To be here. Yep, thank you. Logan, Logan Blankenberg joining us on the Bill Cram Chevrolet Halftime Show 23-20. Minders by three. We'll be back with the second half after this.